Here we are going to see one property of roots. And without further ado, what about double root? Well, first let's say that it equals x. Then substitute the root inside mth root of a as b. So we have mth root of b equals x, or x to the m equals b, which equals nth root of a. Now regard x to the m as unit and change this root expression to exponentiation. So we have the unit to the n equals a. And using the third property of exponentiation, we have x to the m times n equals a. Lastly, we convert the expression back to root, this time regarding the whole power as unit. So we have m times n root of a equals x. But x is our initial expression. Thus, we have this, our first property. Therefore, we can change double root into 1 with index multiplication of the initial indices. For example, third root of second root of 64 equals 3 times 2 root of 64, which is 6 root of 64, which is 2. So, if we have problem like this, we can solve it in two different ways. The first way is just taking the root one by one from the inside out. And the second way is to change the double root into single one and proceed. Also, this property can be used multiple times, enabling us to change multiple roots like this into a single root whose index is just products of all the initial indices. Alright, next we'll see the other two properties of taking roots. Thank you very much for watching.